Hello YouTube and welcome back to another World Painter tutorial. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, but somebody requested in the comments below. Comments should be up on the screen now if I remember to do it. And they want me to show you how to do cliffs. So we've got our basic um, terrain here, just loaded it up. This is how it looks straight away. So I can even do this using these crappy brushes. So you're going to raise up your terrain like this. And I've not changed any settings at all now. I'm just going to go to a really, really basic thing here. Just to show you guys. And then I'm going to go into a little bit more detail. To show you how to make some nice looking cliffs in different styles. And then you get your flatten tool. Find the uh, terrain level that you want to work at. So let's say we want all this terrain here to be sort of this level. And you just cut in like this. And you can change how harsh the, uh, the cliff looks by using a sharper brush or a softer brush if you want it to be a softer one and then you're going to come in along the top here as well and just do the same so let's drag it out from there and then go from the top and just drag it out along like that something like this anyway and then you just smooth out the edges up here and that's about it oops smoothed a little bit too much there so let's go fix that like there we go right okay so that's basically it so now if I do control and three you can see we have our cliff like I said this is just a basic to show you guys what it looks like it is that's the view we want and that's what the cliff looks like so there you go cliffs in world painter dead easy right now let's make some nice cliffs so we're gonna go to file new world no uh, blah 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 blah. This should all be right. Um, I'm gonna go for flat terrain and I'm gonna go a little bit below water level. I'm gonna make like a, a little beachy, cliffy area. Um, that should be fine. Create world. So it's only a tiny map, this, so we're not doing anything big. Um, but what we're gonna go for is this. Put our intensity up to 100 just so we can get some terrain and. Bring that up, it's brought the surface, flatten tool, find 64, is it? Or is it 62? 62, okay, my bad. And we're gonna bring all this up like that, and bring this out here, like that. So we've got our ocean view here, we're gonna have some cliffs along here, I'm on a little beach maybe. So we've got that, that's looking okay. <clears throat> right, so now we wanna bring up the terrain. So I'll just get another brush. And we'll just make some hills over here. Uh, just really simple. Just make it nice terrain. And smooth all that out now. Oops, wrong tool. Smooth all that out. Fine. Doesn't matter if it's too smooth because we're going to be messing it up later anyway. Now we're going to work on these cliffs. So there's going to be two different types of cliffs that I actually want to try and make. So we're going to bring that up quite sharply. And let's see, that's 62, so that's 80 at the peak. So that's like a 20 block high cliff. That's a pretty tall cliff. I'm going to rotate this brush so it's 90 degrees. So it should be sideways, perfect. <clears throat> and this is only because of the direction of our sort of ocean that I'm rotating in 90 degrees. You can do it any way you want. But we're just going to go flatten at the top and just hold it so it's really strong edged. So I'll just bring that along like that. Zoom out now so we can see. And you can see I'm basically just doing the same technique as what I've just shown you. Right, so now that's brought out a little bit, what I'm going to do is sort of cut in at different heights, still using the flatten tool, just to smooth out the terrain here, like so, and just bring that in. And uh, we're actually going to leave that like that because this cliff isn't going to be a sheer cliff like the one we've just made. This is going to be a coastal cliff. So what I like to do for these coastal cliffs is get a another brush, sometimes softer, um, lower the intensity a little bit, and we're going to zoom in down here. In fact, I'll show you guys now the 3D view. So if we do this one, is that the right turning? Yes, it was. So you can see now, it's, it's a little bit just, it's all the same. So what we're going to do now is sort of Keep the flatten tool, bring this really strongly out to the edge, and depend on the brush you use, depends on how tight it will get onto the edge. You know, if I hold it there longer, it'll get a really strong 
edge there like that and then what we're going to do is click lower down the cliff so the top this is 80 so maybe we're going to go to about 77 if we can find 77 there we go and then just click a little bit and then go over here find you know you want to be within sort of seven to eight blocks to the top i think you don't want to go too low so within seven to eight blocks of the top so 75 that's within five blocks so we can just click again over here now we're getting into where it's going to be smoothing out to where our beach is going to go so we can go a little bit lower than that restraint that we've just set ourselves and then up here i'm going to bring it out a little bit taller again and bring this out a little bit as well and down here we've made this smaller i'm going to add another try and add another little plateau there and just see how that looks and this is just like a way i do coastal cliffs and you can change the brush you can get different ones you just come in so you get different shapes and then here we're just going to sort of bring that out and in fact i'm going to use this brush change the rotation and just sort of uh oh raise tool just bring that like so just so we get a bit of interesting looking terrain let's look at the 3d view now on that and you can see we've added these little indents onto the top of the cliff and that's looking kind of cool that looks really nice now uh, so the next thing that i'm going to come in and do is just add some Okay, just died a little bit there. Really sorry, guys. Every time, I can be fine all day long. I start recording, my voice goes, I start getting sniffing, and oh my god. I don't even understand. Yeah, so now, we're just going to do what we've just done at the top, but down at the bottom now. So now, this is a little bit trickier. But, you know, you just want to bring out some little beach there, or maybe you don't want it to be a beach. It's up to you. You can have it as a sheer cliff. But we're looking sort of three to five blocks is what I go for from the bottom. So the bottom is 62, so the max we want to go to is 67. Uh, so 63 there. Just do that. And over here, 68. I said 67, but yeah, we can get away with 68. I'm just clicking a couple of times each time and then rounding out these cliff sets. So if we look at that, see so we've got a little lip in down here and it's looking a little bit nicer but i still think this is a bit too sharp for a coastal cliff and when i say coastal cliffs i'm thinking if you go onto google images and type in um at cliffs in ireland or you know like wales that's what i'm thinking when i say coastal cliffs i'm thinking the british isles because obviously i live in england so that's what i'm thinking when i say coastal cliffs and that's that's not too bad it's not fantastic i'm not spending great detail on these cliffs Right, so let's move on to a sharp cliff, and we're going to have a beach here. So we're going to use a tool and raise some terrain up like this. And in fact, I want to use a really strong brush, so we might just use one of these, one of these for now. Um, really strong, and just bring that out all along this sort of cliff face. And just go back along, make sure I'm getting that really sharp cliff in there. Now I'm going to smooth all of these edges out that aren't on the cliff face, like that. That should be fine. Now we can go back in, use our raise and lower tool and make the terrain a little bit more interesting. So cut that down all along here, raise it up a little bit over here, join that up. And let's change brush. I don't like these hill system brushes. Here we go. Use that. You see I'm just basically building the terrain up behind it. Oops. And da, 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 da. Okay, so now that doesn't look super flat and doesn't look really nice. It's probably not going to look great in-game. But that's because I'm not spending much time on it. So we've got this super sharp cliff now. And that is going to look very bad, very, very bad in Minecraft, I think. So what you can do to break that up is use cave layers. And it's been a while since I've done this, so let me find them. Layers, caves, cave, caverns, it's not caverns, there you go, plus cave tunnel layer. Right, so this is really complicated and I'm going to be brushing over this, so try and follow along if you can. Ceiling, that's the top. Uh, so, oh, first of all we need to find a few bits of information. What is the height of this? So the height of this is sort of 78 to 80. And the bottom is going to be 62, but you want it to go a little bit below because otherwise it'll look a bit odd. Because you know you want to make a sea cave type thing. So 
Let's go back to here. Add cave tunnel layer. So ceiling. Um, fixed level. 88 is going to be too high. That will break out. So we want to go down to about 70... Not 74. Because you know what? Again, you want it a couple of blocks below uh, the height that you're working with. Uh, and the floor level, we want that to go down to... 62 is water level, so let's say 57. We don't want fixed depth, we want fixed level. Okay, uh, opposite of terrain for the ceiling, and what that means is if the terrain is sort of sloping upwards on top of the cliff, then this will slope, the cave layer will slope downwards. Um, that's the best way I can explain that. Um, variation range, you can add this if, on if you want. Um, that's going to be sort of, you know, if it's going to look like stalactites and stuff like that. For these type of caves, I suggest keeping it like you know one or so. You can put the roughness up or the smoothness up again. You don't really have to do this much because the water will be smooth in the edge. But we are going to put a little bit up, I suppose. Uh, the floor level, <clears throat> again, you don't have to do much. Material, though, for this floor, I am going to change this to sand, if I can find sand. It's 12. 12. Sand. No, not lava, sand, there we go. So we've got to have sand in there for the floor, and then the walls. So, this gets really confusing, this is, t took me a while to get. So, now you need to work out the distance between the floor and the ceiling. So I've got 56 and 74, so that's 20 minus 2, 18, so 18. So if I put the walls up to 18, then that will make a perfect circle. Now we don't want a perfect circle, but we do want a nice curve. So what I'm going to go for for the top width with the ceiling is maybe maybe nine. That's like half, isn't it? So that's going to be like an oval shape. And the bottom, I don't want a big one because I think it's going to be quite sharp. So let's go for six. The material for the walls, we'll just leave that as blank, and I can just go to stone. Okay, uh, and click OK there. Now, so to break this steep cliff up, what we're going to go for is painting our cave layer with the paintbrush and the tunnel layer and get a nice strong brush and we're just going to sort of go along the edge and radius 8, so this is going to go 8 blocks in. So put the intensity up 100 as well. And if you paint um, over the cliff, it won't actually affect anything apart from if it's underwater below that level. And we're just going to go sort of along the cliff at different points, adding in these breaks. Now it won't show up anything on here, uh, so you won't actually be able to see that until you get in game. Normally at this point I would say export the map, go look at it in game, and um, then come back in, make the change that you need to make it. Cave layers, really really tricky to get right, and you are going to have to do a lot of exporting, editing, exporting, editing, exporting, editing. It's going to take a few, couple of goes to get it right. Now this beach actually isn't too bad. What I'm going to do for the beach, this is sort of a little bonus bit of the video now, is we're going to smooth out, like, oh, that's the flatten tool. Every time. I always get those mixed up for some reason. I'm going to smooth out the edges here for this beach. And I think, as well, I'm going to bring this, uh, this cliff face in here, the underwater cliff face, that is. I'm going to use a lower tool and just gently bring that down using right clicking and come back in with our smooth tool that's looking okay and then we're gonna get our paintbrush tool and we're gonna do sand layers terrain no terrain sand is this fur sand yes and then we're gonna come in and again we want a nice strong brush and I kind of only want it to be these two layers so we only want 62, 63, so, um, I don't get why my thing does this, you know, I don't get all of the settings in anymore, I don't know why, it's annoying, so let's bring this out, above, no, we don't want that, at or, at or below, and it was 63, wasn't it, so at or below, 63, but then I'm also going to put below, and I think it's something like 10 degrees, something all along those lines so we can throw that back in there and then you're just going to brush here and you can see it's not going up on these steeper cliffs now it's going to go out to there that's fine it's not going up on them steeper bits and that's not now there are going to be little be little bits that you're going to have to go in and hand pick out uh, and for that all you have to do is uncheck that uncheck that 
and just right click and you might have to go in like sort of pixel by pixel here uh, ooh no, you don't want to right click you want to click grass and left click and just paint grass over these bits where the sand has come up and if you use the 3d view it should be a little bit easier to see not massively easier but it's a little bit easier to see where the sand has gone up onto the other bits of terrain so I'll just quickly go over this and then all that's left to do is export the map and check it out in game okay guys we are back in Minecraft and let's load up the terrain and I've not actually loaded the game up so this is going to be the first time I'm seeing the terrain as well as you guys and we've spawned right in front of this beach and uh, pretty damn good pretty good uh, maybe it's up to you guys if it's like a personal preference that you would have put sand along that layer there I kind of like the change and I'd, I'd like using this 10% brush um, the beach sort of going out here has a really nice oops really nice slope drop off into the sea um, which I like obviously you would paint sand over all of this as well I just forgot to do that because yeah so looking at these cliffs these are our coastal cliffs and not too bad I forgot to paint stone on all these cliffs as well by the way so that's my bad um, they're not bad I don't like how sharp that is um, this is really cool though um, obviously if it was a little bit deeper this would be quite a nice area but these cliffs not too bad uh, I don't get why they're so sharp but every time I've done this they've been nice and smooth um, I'll put some images on the screen now to show you some coastal cliffs that I've done using this same technique um, and then let's go check out this cave layer I'm really dreading this cave layer um, I've only experimented a few times I know how they work but I've never get them got them to work really well yet uh, as soon as I do that I'll do an in-depth tutorial on them but here we go oh I also forgot to check a flood cave that would have been really helpful so with these settings actually these don't look too bad so the radius was eight uh, if anyone's trying to follow along at home uh, and I think that's actually quite a nice size to use um, oh, poor squids um, probably could have gone higher with the sea with the with the ceiling yeah with the ceiling the ceiling could have gone a lot higher looking at this now let's check out a few more of these and see yeah so like I said that could have gone a lot higher I think because it's all dirt it doesn't look as good either um, and you could have had two or three cave layers and really just mixed up the variation so you could have had sharper ceilings um, slopier ceilings you could have had um, cliffs that start higher up you know, indents rather that start higher up so maybe that's something I'll look into in another tutorial but that is basically it guys for this tutorial really simple really basic um, not a lot of thought has been put into this unfortunately but if you guys want more tutorials or if you're not too sure about how to do something just put a comment below and if it's something I can do then I will get it done not right away because it's been two weeks since the guy asked me to do this I think but yeah I will try and get it out for you if it's something that I can do and I hope you you guys enjoyed this tutorial it's very simple very basic if you want me to go more in depth about anything just put a comment below and I can help you out with that um, other than that, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, helps me out a lot, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.